special recording. General Mills, makers of Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions, and Cheerios, the oat cereal ready to eat, presents The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and the hearty Hayo Silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'll Silver. Away! <laughs> This is the Lone Ranger. If you want to be a champion at anything, remember, others have done it in spite of obstacles. Take rodeo champion Bob Maynard. He did it the hard way. He proved champions are made, not born. Bob didn't even have the advantage of growing up on a western ranch. As a boy, he lived in Chicago. But Bob started riding when he was eight years old. At 14 in California, he became a stable hand. Today... Bob Maynard is one of the top money winners in rodeo competition. He sure is, Lone Ranger. And like many champions in all sports, Bob still chooses Wheaties for his favorite training ditch. There's no question about it. Champions are made, not born. And there's no question why champions choose Wheaties for their training diet. They want that famous wheat energy. They get it with Wheaties because there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Champions are made, not born. Get on your way with Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions. Three men, whose faces were partly covered by bandanas, entered the Grantville Bank in broad daylight. One shouted, All right, it's a stick up. All right, get your hands up. That's it. Keep them high and stand over there against the wall. We'll shoot to kill if anyone goes for a gun. The thieves worked quickly and efficiently. Two held guns threatening the people in the bank, while the third filled a sack with paper money. In a couple of minutes, he was ready to leave. Now listen, all of you. We're going out the back door. We'll shoot anyone who comes after us. Stay where you are and no one will get hurt. All right, come on, boys. Don't ever get away with this. Don't anyone come after us. Come on, we're going to get away with this. Shut up. Get on your horse and ride. Ah! Hop, you thieves! He's got a gun. Now get him. You got him. After that, no one else will dare come out of the bank. Let's split the cash. Oh, can't take the time now. we got to travel. The lawman might have heard that shot and come to investigate. All right, keep a watch out. Now listen. We split and ride in different directions just as we planned. Right. Two weeks from the day, we'll meet in the shack near the town of Red Rock where we planned this job. That's when we'll divvy the cash. All right. If one of us thinks he's being trailed, you'll write a note stating the situation and send it to the Red Rock Post Office. Check there for me. All right. Someone's at the front door. All right, he's just heading for it. Come on, let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Two weeks after the robbery in Grantville, Toad and Snake met in the town of Red Rock, many miles away. Snake found a letter waiting in the Red Rock Post Office. He read it, then went outside where Toad was waiting near the hitch rail. You got word from Trigger? You read it? Yeah, and he's in trouble. How's that? Confounded horse of his was wearing new shoes. They left clear trail. Yeah? Yeah. Trigger rode through a valley, then doubled back along a ridge that overlooked the valley, and saw two men following his tracks. Lawman? Uh, worse. What's worse? A lone Ranger and his Indian pal. A lone Ranger? You gotta help Trigger get rid of him. Yeah. Or to ride to the Lone Pine Tree and ambush him. That's about five miles from here on the side of the mountain. Now, come on. All right, steady there. Get up. Yeah, come on. Meanwhile, 
shadows, the Lone Ranger and Toto, following the familiar trail of the outlaw, had halted to study the ground near a running stream. Uh, grass bent, Kimasabi. Outlaw here, only short time ago. Yes, that's right, Toto. I'm going to get ready for the showdown. What do you mean, Kimasabi? I may have to chase the outlaws. I'm going to relieve Silver of all excess weight. I'll go on ahead. You follow at a slower pace and bring my blanket roll in camp here. Uh, Scott Carrion, we follow you. With Silver stripped for speed, the masked man left Toto to follow with his gear and continued on the trail alone. Presently, the underbrush became less dense and the trees more widely spaced. Then he saw the man ahead. There he is at last. Come on, Silver! Trigger Regan saw the white horse and the masked rider gaining rapidly and knew he could not hope to reach the distant mountain. He fired repeatedly in the faint hope that a lucky shot would stop the Lone Ranger. Then the outlaw's gun was empty. Get up! Come on, you killer! Get up! I want you! The powerful white stallion drew nearer and nearer. Trigger glanced back and saw the masked man loosening his lariat. Come on, get up, boy! A moment later, a noose flew through the air and dropped around the outlaw. The noose drew tight and pulled the outlaw off his horse. He hit the ground and rolled. Then he saw the masked man standing at his side with a drawn gun. Trigger Regan, so you're one of the three who robbed the Granville Bank. Now, wait! Let me talk. Talk to the marshal at Red Rock. I'm going to turn you over to him. You're wanted for a lot of crimes in addition to the Grantville robbery. While being tied and searched, Trigger Regan looked toward the mountainside and wondered if his friends were hidden behind the boulders beneath the tall pine. If so, they knew of his capture. And though they were too far away to use their six guns effectively, they would surely find a way to rescue him. If we reach Red Rock, we'll have to go over that mountain. The Lone Ranger ignored the comment. He was opening the outlaw's saddlebags. He found them filled with money. Much of it in wrappers stamped with the name of the Grantville Bank. This does it, Trigger. This is all the evidence that's necessary to convict you of robbing the bank and shooting the clerk. Come on, I'll help you to the saddle. Hey, uh, that mountain trail is mighty rough. You expect me to ride over it with my hands tied behind my back? No. And you'll untie my hands? No. We'll take the long way to Red Rock. We'll ride around the mountain. <laughs> Snake and Toad, watching from behind the boulders on the mountain, saw Trigger captured by the masked man. No use shooting from here. That distance, we couldn't hit anything with our six guns. Snake, we could mount our horses and ride closer. Plain view of the Lone Ranger? What do you think he'd be doing in the meantime? He's a crack shot. Yeah, that's so. He'd drill us long before we could hit him. If he comes this way with Trigger, he might get close enough so we could shoot him from behind these rocks. Now he's starting out with Trigger, and they're not coming this way. They're heading south. Hey, Snake, Trigger's got all the money. What are we going to do? I'm trying to think. What's more, he'll squeal on us if the masked man turns him over to the law. Well, he'll be turned over to the law, no doubt of that. Looks to me like the Lone Ranger aims to take him to Red Rock. Well, then why didn't he come this way and ride over the mountain? How do I know? Maybe he figured the other route would be safe. Oh, Snake, we got to do something. I told you I'm trying to think. I'm t- hey, Toad, look over yonder. Huh? There's someone else riding this way from the woods. Yeah. It's an engine. Maybe he's Tano. Tano? The Lone Ranger's partner. Trigger mentioned him in the letter. Hey, if that critter is Tonto. I have an idea. Come on, Toad. We'll ride to meet him. It was Tonto who appeared from the wood. After delaying to tie the Lone Ranger's gear behind his saddle, he followed the tracks of the masked man through the woods and across the plain. Presently, he drew rein and studied the ground. The signs told him that Trigger Regan had been captured. He grinned and was about to continue riding when he saw two horsemen approaching. He waited until they came near and drew rein. Oh, oh, oh. Hi there, Ingen. Oh. By any chance, is your name Tonto? Mm-hmm. Me, Tonto. Then heist your head. You're covered. What this means? Take it like that. Right. Oh, still, Ingen, or we'll blow your head off. Why you do this? Your masked pal captured our friend, so we're capturing you. Do you savvy? If Trigger don't go free, you're gonna die. <laughs> It was after dark when the Lone Ranger turned Trigger Regan and the stolen money over to the Red Rock Marshal, whom he knew. Then he left the jail. Silver waited near the saddle shed. 
And next to the white stallion stood Tonto's paint horse. Scout, I wonder where Tonto is. I'll answer that. Don't reach for a gun, mister. You're covered. I've been waiting behind the shed for you. If I'd known someone was waiting, I might have been here sooner. Who are you? Names don't matter. The important thing is I'm one of the men who captured your Indian friend. Did you bring Tonto's horse here? Yeah. I did that to prove I've got the Indian. I just want to tell you where things stand. You captured my pal Trigger Regan. Unless Trigger is out of jail and free. At 5.15 in the morning, your Indian friend will die. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. Cause champions are made, not born. Yes, sir. Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with me. It's good to know you can make something out of yourself. And you can, because champions are made, not born. Take the story of Jack Kramer, tennis star. When Jack was just 11 years, his tennis didn't win him cheers. But practice built his power game, and he got on his way to fame with Wheaties, the food the champs acclaim. Today, Jack tops the tennis clan for 22 years of Wheaties man. Jack Kramer, going steady on Wheaties since he was 11 years old. Mighty good for you. There's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Okay, Jack, serve that ball. Hey, hey, hey! He's on his way, on his way, he's on his way, on his way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Cause champions are made, not born. Yes, sir. Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of champions. Now to continue Outside the jail where the Lone Ranger had left Trigger Regan The outlaw's pal Snake held a gun on the masked man And told him that unless Regan were freed the Lone Ranger's friend, Tonto, would die. You buy Tonto's life by freeing Trigger. I've already turned him over to the marshal. I know that. It's up to you to figure out how to get him out of jail. Bust him out if you have to. Where are you holding, Tonto? I've said all I'm going to say. We've talked long enough. The next move is yours. Very well. I'll make the next move. Hey! The masked man's unexpected move was lightning fast. His left hand slapped aside Snake's gun, but his right fist crashed to the outlaw's jaw. Snake fired involuntarily, the bullet going harmlessly into the ground. He dropped his gun when the Lone Ranger's fist rammed him in the stomach, then went down from a blow to the chin. No, no, don't hit me again! I'm not going to hit you. I'll just make sure you have no other weapons. Hey, what's going on? What's the gunplay? The gunplay's over, Marshal. This man's gun is there on the ground. On your feet! Oh, my jaw! Who's this critter? A pal of Trigger Regan. Yes? Yeah. I think he's one of the bank robbers. He and another man, probably the third bank robber, captured Tonto. He told me Tonto would die unless Regan went free. Why, you... And so he will. Tonto will die at 5.15 in the morning and nothing can save him. Why did you decide on 5.15? I'm not answering questions, but I'll tell you this. Jalen Trigger and me is the same as a death warrant for Tonto. He means it. Yes, sir, I know he does. I'll try to find Tonto before the deadline. Well, you needn't count on following my back trail. There's no moon tonight and you can't see in the dark. Not well enough to follow a trail. Mister, the law is mighty deep and dead to you. You say the word, and I'll release the prisoners. I'd be justified in doing that to save the life of Tonto. More than Tonto's life is involved, Marshal. It's a matter of principle. The law must never be compromised because crooks threaten violence. You're right, of course, but Tonto's He's life... He's risked his life many times to put outlaws in jail. And so have you. It follows that we'd risk our lives to keep him there. Then you want me to... Jail this crook. Tonto will die. Do you hear that? Come on, you poor care. Listen, he'll die at 515. Scout, Tonto's in danger. <laughs> My crook was right when he said we couldn't follow his trail by starlight. You know where Tonto is. You know where that crook came from, Scout. Lead the way and I'll follow you. Find Tonto. Do you understand? <laughs> Go on, Scout. Find Tonto. Easy. Let it be caught. One, two, three. seemed to know just where to go. From behind the jail, he raced across flat country to a canyon that divided the area between the mountain and the town. He crossed one of several bridges that spanned the canyon, then turned sharply to the side and led the masked man and silver along the canyon's rim until he reached a stand of timber. There he halted. In the woods, the masked man saw a square patch of light. 
was the window of a cabin. Easy, the big fellow. He dismounted, drew one gun, and advanced on foot. Two horses were tied to a tree near the cabin. The Lone Ranger looked through the window and saw a room crudely furnished with a table and chairs and a door that seemed to lead to a bedroom. No one was in the room. The masked man entered the shack through a door that creaked noisily. Hi there, Snake. I'll be right with you. The voice came from the bedroom. Did you talk to the Lone Ranger to set the trigger free? Hey, I asked him. Hold it. What? No, wait, don't shoot. Don't shoot, mister. I thought that you... You thought were... I was a man who tried to make a deal for Tonto's life. No, no. I'll take your gun. Now, listen, mister. Snake's in jail with Trigger Regan. You're going to join them after I release Tonto. Now, where is he? Oh, my arm. Where is he? I don't know where he is now. He was here, I admit that, but he, he's gone. Snake took him somewhere on foot. Where? I don't know. Snake didn't tell me. You've got to believe me. Well, I don't believe you. Come into the other room. Oh, oh. You're hurting my arm. Sit down in that chair. What... What are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to tie you to the chair. But, mister, I told you... This I... rope should do. You've got no right to bust in on a man like this. Make your complaint to the marshal. Oh, that rope's tight. Your friend Snake told me that Tonto would die at 5.15 in the morning. I don't know anything about that. That's too bad. Because your life may depend on the survival of my friend. What do you mean? Just watch what I do and maybe you'll figure it out. <laughs> took two new candles from a box and stood them side by side on the floor between the wood box and the wall. He lighted one and glanced at his watch. Then he drew the cartridges from Toad's gun belt and sat down at the table. Using his knife, he pried out the bullets and emptied the gunpowder from the cartridges into a small bowl. At the end of half an hour, he blew out the lighted candle, measured the amount that had burned, then turned to Toad, who had been watching every move. Now, do you understand? No. These candles burn about one inch in half an hour. I'm lighting a new candle. It should burn to the floor at about six o'clock in the morning. You still don't, Savvy. I can't see what you're doing. The wood box is in the way. I'm putting gunpowder around the base of the candle. It will be ignited when the candle burns down and set fire to the kindling wood. What? This cabin will burn fast. With me tied to this chair? Tonto will untie you if he's alive. I'll burn to death. That's up to you. If I find Tonto, I'll send him here to blow out the candle. But I'll have to wait for daylight to follow his tracks. Daylight? That's a little after five at this time of year. I may be too late to save him. The masked man sat down on a chair and stretched out his legs. Toad's flabby face was beaded with a sweat of fear. And his eyes stared at the wall, where the light of the burning candle behind the wood box seemed to measure his life expectancy in minutes. A long silence was broken by the Lone Ranger. Two o'clock. You have four hours. The masked man seemed to doze. Toad struggled against the ropes that held him. They were strong. The knots were tight. He finally gave up. Four o'clock. Just being stubborn, you're a fool. You you wouldn't let me die. You think I'm bluffing? I, I don't know. It was a battle of nerves. The Lone Ranger, realizing the hopelessness of searching in the darkness for his friend, was staking everything on his conviction that the outlaw knew where Tonto had been taken and would tell. 4.30. The masked man's cool manner concealed an inward turmoil of worry, apprehension, and questions. What if this man's told the truth? What if he doesn't know where Tonto is? I have time to find Tonto between the first light of day and 5.15. I can't! I'll talk, I'll talk! Blow out the candle! Where's Tonto? He'll blow it out if he's here in time. He's tied to the railroad tracks. The railroad tracks? The ones that run through the canyon? Yeah. Snake and I took Tonto down a steep path to the floor of the canyon. There's a train due in Red Rock at 5.30. It'll pass here around 5.15. Where's that path? A straight line from this cabin to the canyon. Tonto's right near the bottom of the path. Hey, hey wait! 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 <laughs> As the Lone Ranger ran through the woods, he heard a whistle and knew the train was on schedule. His was a desperate race against time, with Tonto's life depending on the outcome. He reached the canyon rim and found the narrow path, a dangerous one in the dim light of dawn. But this was no time to think of personal peril. Tonto's life was at stake. When he reached the canyon floor, the masked man saw the headlight of the locomotive, and in its beam saw Tonto, gagged and lashed to the rails. I'll free you, Tonto. A quick slash with his knife, and Tonto's feet were free. Now for the rope around your wrist. There. 
The Lone Ranger picked his friend up bodily and took three quick steps to safety, scant yards before the rushing train went past. Inside the cabin, Toad calculated time by the increasing daylight that came through the window. With each passing moment, his nervousness and fear increased until he could wait in silence no longer. Help! Help! Save me! Set me free! Oh, why must I die like this? Help me! You stop knowing. Huh? The tunnel! You're here! Uh, me free you from chair. No, no, blow the candle out first. The candle behind the wood box. Blow it out before it sets the place on fire. Uh, there no fire. There. Legs free now. No, you don't understand. When the candle burns down, it'll start a fire. No, you stand up. I'll be your hands tied. I'll blow the candle out myself. There. Why is this? What matter? There never was any danger of fire. The gunpowder's nowhere near the candle. That masked man... Then go to Red Rock. Tell Marshal me come there with you as prisoner. He tricked me. He made me think I'd die when the candle burned down. Masked man never killed. Him, Lone Ranger. We'll return in just a moment for a word about our next exciting Lone Ranger adventure, Drought. Sheriff Sam is a boy of ten. He busts right in the robber's den and gets his man beat because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 You know about Cheerios, how good Cheerios taste, and how this wonderful toasted oat cereal that's shaped like a little letter O is so good for you. A Cheerios and milk breakfast really starts the day right. It's real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. They help to give you healthy nerves and muscles. So have Cheerios every morning. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were following two killers when a violent storm ended the chase. Seeking shelter, they headed for a small cabin, unaware of the fact that the killers were there waiting for them with drawn guns. Be sure to listen to this next thrill-packed Lone Ranger adventure. The Lone Ranger, a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, is created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's drama was written by Fran Stryker. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. <laughs> The Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time. Be sure to listen. This recorded program has come to you from Detroit. This is ABC Radio Network.